Well, good morning, YouTube. I'm in the truck trailering, well, an empty trailer right now. We're going to pick up a Ferrari in Atlanta, and I wasn't gonna film anything, but then stuff started going wrong, so I said, you know what? Let's film it. So are you recording all of the nefarious activities? If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan. This is, well, my truck. Normally we're in my garage, and normally it's all about supercar ownership experience and stuff like that. And well, I guess today is about the supercar ownership experience because we're going to go pick up a Ferrari in Atlanta for one of my clients. The reason I started filming is we didn't even make it out of Texas and I got a flat tire in the trailer, which, you know, it's not the biggest problem in the world, but I will just say the experience was very odd. So first of all, uh, a pro tip, make sure you have a tire pressure monitoring system on your trailer because mine started alerting me and then the tire quickly went to zero. Thankfully, I didn't shred the tire or cause any more problems, so that was good. When I got the alert, I was kind of in the middle of nowhere, so I limped it along slowly until I got to like a tiny, tiny little town. I don't even know if it qualifies as a town. I stopped at the only gas station there, and then I also needed to get some fuel, so I stopped at the diesel pump, and the diesel pump doesn't work. So I'm like, great. So then I decide, all right, let's just change the tire. But I had to pee really bad. I had to pee for like an hour. So I go in there and there's all these signs, due to COVID, can't use our restroom. So I ask about it. And the lady working there proceeds to tell me how actually it's because dudes pee all over the seat and all over the floor. And so she's tired of cleaning it up. So she's gonna let me use it, but she's gonna check before and after and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, please just let me pee. I just gotta pee, otherwise I'm gonna pee behind your building. <laughs> so then, uh, change out the tire, no problems there. That was actually pretty uneventful. But then they did have another diesel pump, but it was around the corner. And so I go to that one, it's not working. So I had to get another pump. That one finally works, hooray, I get fuel. And then I think about it and uh, the new tire was a little bit low on air. It was only at 45 PSI, I wanted up to like 65. So, uh, there's an air pump. Uh, hold on, I'm getting a call. Uh, never mind. I'm in the middle of nowhere, so there's no reception and the call dropped. So I go to put air in it and it only takes quarters, so I had to go break some money. And then, oh my God, what's going on? This is just gonna be one of those supremely frustrating days. So uh, that call is actually really important. It's about uh, getting our rent set up for gated six. So we're, you know, taking over a lease on a warehouse and it keeps dropping because I'm in the middle of nowhere. So I'm a, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, so I go to put air in the thing, had to get quarters, fill up the tire, and then I thought about it and I'm like, you know what? I need to repair the other tire because I, I could have another flat in the middle of nowhere and then I'm screwed because I, then I don't have any air. I stupidly did not bring my little portable air pump. Lesson learned there always bring my air pump. I'm gonna actually just buy a second one and leave it in the trailer, I think. Also, pro tip, my toolkit came in so clutch. Really easy to change a tire with all those tools and everything. So, um, yeah, so I repaired the tire, inflated it, so like now I have a spare again. We will continue on since we're uh, 728 miles to go. So it's a 950 mile journey. I've only gone slightly over 200 miles and I get a flat. So my ETA is 10, 34 p.m. Yeah, it's gonna be a long day. Um, today's definitely gonna be one of those days. Uh, Google all of a sudden was like, hey, there's a slowdown. And it started with like saying, oh, it's a 10 minute delay and then it increased to increase and then it finally got to an hour and five minute delay, but it put me off on some different side road thing. I mean, I guess it's, I guess it's still a highway. Um, yeah, so I'm like, I got off I-20 and I'm on 281 south. So here's what it's got me doing right now. You can see, uh, yeah, hopefully this will save me some time. We'll see if this works. I, every time Google does one of these like weird detours, I mean, it's like, it's right 75% of the time I'm gonna say, but like once in a while it totally screws up. So I'm hoping this is worth it. I'll let you know when we get back to I-20. We'll see how it goes. All right, there you can kind of see it's got me coming back over to I-20, and it will, uh, we'll see if this saves time. All right, made it back to 20. I mean, there's still a pretty good amount of traffic, so it could have been like a total stop. I don't think the hour and five minute thing was accurate, but it, um, it definitely appears there was a delay, because there was a sign that said, like, 
left lane closed ahead six miles ahead and then it got me off the highway like right after that so maybe there was like an accident or something i don't know but anyway uh carrying on eta 10 30 p.m 664 miles nine hours 37 minutes to go yeah oh and a cop if you happen to see the other video where i was talking about how shreveport has some of the worst roads yeah we're uh we're actually exiting the, the really bad section <laughs> but it's just miserable it's constant bouncing bouncing <laughs> it's so bad here the roads are just atrocious straight up miserable roads and it's through the entire city you just yeah uh, i just wanted to prove my point showing you how hard it is to hold the camera steady while trying to bounce around on these things like i said this is actually much much better than it was about two miles back in the heart of the city it's kind of cleared up because we're outside of the city now but yeah fun super fun that tire is holding on for dear life it is clearly flat it's gonna fly off any second it's kind of sketchy oh no he's getting in front of me no 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 great wobble 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 well, what do we have here? That appears to be a Ferrari logo on the back of that trailer. Let's see when we get closer what it actually is. By the way, I've got an awesome tailwind. I'm making killer miles per gallon. It's the best I've ever gotten in the trailer. All right, so there it is. Ferrari Challenge trailer, nice. We're in Louisiana heading towards, possibly be like Talladega, I don't know. Uh, there's a couple tracks in Alabama and Ferrari Challenge trailer doesn't want to be passed. <laughs> I am going the same speed and they keep speeding up and then like getting around people and then I slowly reel them back in. So it says it's Rosso Racing LC and as you can see they are passing me again. They are hauling ass. No F's given. Eventually. Well good morning YouTube. So I didn't film it all yesterday because I was very busy. So here's what has happened in the last 36 hours or so since the last time I filmed. I made it into Atlanta at about 11 p.m. and that's kind of why I didn't film. When I went to my hotel room, I had forgotten the camera in the truck and so I was like, I'm so tired, I'm not going back out to the truck, I'm just going to bed. So I didn't film at all that night. Uh, the next morning we got up and went straight to the dealership, bought the Ferrari, threw it in the trailer and then hit the road. Effectively at that point, not really much happened on the road exciting, except for, you know, like if you consider filling up the gas tank with diesel exciting, then yes, exciting things happened about five times. Other than that, no major events, uh, no more flat tires, nothing like that. Made it into Austin at about 2 a.m. and we went straight to bed. It was just like, we're done. And by the way, yes, my, my client actually rode with me in the truck because he's wanting to take a road trip. We're gonna unload his car. He's gonna drive around in Austin for the day. Tomorrow morning, we get up and we go to Phoenix, which is another 15 hour drive. So we're gonna have about 30 hours total in this road trip. That's why I'm very tired. I, I need a, yeah, I need a shower and take a nap. Mo's very unhappy that I'm out here. Well, if you're wondering what we picked up, we have a 2012 Ferrari 458 in tdf blue yeah you don't see this color very often it is beautiful in the sunlight so we're gonna get it unloaded and i'll show you this car it is just glorious in the sun oh this is a fantastic color for any of you that like blue this is the blue yes there she is safe and sound made it in one piece everything's still nice and tight on the straps so I'm gonna get the trailer prepped. We need to obviously pull forward because I can't even open the tailgate. Uh, nothing like taking up space in the cul-de-sac. All right, so I wanna show you a few of the things I'm gonna do to actually secure the trailer before unloading it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put down this foot and actually crank the trailer up a bit so it actually has kind of a negative position where the rear of the trailer is down a little bit. Plus that puts tension on the hitch so that the trailer is not gonna wobble. The other thing I'm gonna do is put some wheel chocks on the wheels so that we don't wobble anywhere.
you think TDF blue tan interior looks super super good it's a little dirty so that's the only downside of having the wood in the trailer is it does create a little bit of dust but overall oh parking sensor's going off yeah that is a beautiful beautiful color later well good morning youtube made it to phoenix so we are at my parents house got the ferrari here and unloaded it and the new owner is happy and actually drove it to his hometown in reno part of the reason i was willing to do this is because now i'm actually picking up another ferrari while i'm here in phoenix and transferring it back to san antonio so to be clear i'm not trying to like really make my business be moving around cars because that's not what i want like that's not my goal so i kind of do it only when it's opportune i was already planning to visit my parents in phoenix so it just worked out really well in this particular case but if you do need a car transported or if you need any sort of consultation services reach out to me go hit me up on my website normalguysupercar.com and we can figure out and get you set up yeah so we got to load another car here in a little bit and then we're gonna hit the road again tomorrow so this is kind of consumed about a week in duration for this video so i'm just kind of trying to do more of a vlog i guess and show you more of my daily life but obviously i'm not going to show you uh, hanging out with my family because well you guys might not find that very exciting i do well hello youtube i thought i would have a ferrari in the trailer by now and be ready to hit the road tomorrow morning but as is the case with seems like everything i do nothing went to plan today so uh let me tell you about today and the awesomeness that led to me not being able to pick up the car so uh we go to pick up the car uh, my dad decides to join me and uh, we drive over there and we get to look at the car and the tire is flat and i'm like all right well we need to get some air in the tire because uh yeah we can't really load it without damaging the wheel with a flat tire so uh we get out the air compressor out of the tool kit that's in the ferrari and try and air up the tire and after a few minutes realize it's not airing up and so we can hear it leaking so we say oh great there is a leak well guess what there is no jack at that guy's house and i realized i don't have a jack in the trailer so i am going to obviously get a jack and bring it with me from now on it's like one of these things every time i do one of these pickups or drop-offs i learn more things and i say oh there's more tools that i should have in the trailer for just such an occasion so we will be adding a jack to my inventory and also an air pump so we go to autozone buy a jack come back pull off the tire sure enough there is a nail in the tire pull it out and then uh, put in a patch because I'm like, hey, you know what? We just need to patch the tire so we can get it, you know, get it on the trailer and then they can patch it properly later with a plug. Patch the tire, start airing it up again. Still leaking. Hmm, okay. Uh, so then we figure out that actually the tires are seven years old, even though they were supposed to have been replaced when the new owner bought it in 2019. Uh, hmm, sounds like they did not do that and probably tried to screw him. Also, because the tires were, f or the one tire was flat, for an extended period of time with an old tire, it destroyed the sidewall. Yep, so it wouldn't take any air. So now we took the tire, could not find a replacement tire in the same spec. So we had to get a, another tire of some weird off brand and we dropped off the tire. Supposedly this tire place is going to put the tire on the root, on the wheel and get that ready for us to pick up tomorrow morning. Theoretically, tomorrow morning, I drive over, pick up the tire, then drive over to the car, put the tire back on, or I should say wheel, put the wheel back on the Ferrari, then I can get the Ferrari out of the garage, into the trailer, and then hit the road back to Austin. Actually, we're taking it to San Antonio, but basically Austin. So yeah, I uh, lost about three or four hours today of farting around trying to solve all those problems. I guess that's gonna be a thing. If I ever do help you out with the car transportation thing, and it's not ready be expected to receive an extra bill so uh, i am going to charge this person for my time because this is time i could have been spending with my family and i don't get that much time with my family so yeah he's gonna have to pay for it but that's fine uh he accepted that and i think that's understood anyway uh crazy day let's uh see how it goes tomorrow oh and something else kind of cool happened while we were driving along someone recognized me so if you happen to be seeing this video i did i can't remember your name but uh someone was like ah like waving honking their horn and stuff so i rolled up my window like oh it's a normal guy so anyway they obviously recognized some of the little normal guy stickers on the trailer but that was pretty cool uh, to actually get recognized just driving down the road in arizona what are the odds two thousand years later all right youtube we're in fort stockton and i have the car so i'm almost home apparently you can't have anything nice in this world so someone decided to beat up my trailer last night. I stayed at the La Quinta 
probably should have stayed somewhere nicer. Lesson learned. I'm only staying at nicer hotels from now on. Yeah. Someone beat the shit out of the trailer. Great. Great. That's awesome. I hope whoever did this is super proud of themselves. Yep. Shows you can't have nice things. I don't think they were trying to break in because obviously they didn't do anything near the lock. But yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh well, such is life. So on the way out, I had a headwind. And now on the way back, I have a headwind. And as you can see, my mileage is pretty atrocious, 8.1. It's not the worst average I've seen yet. I've gotten 7.8, I believe. But it was uh, around 12 and 11 point something for the first half of the drive and then the wind just went crazy and for a long period of time my average was about five or six so basically my miles per gallon has been cut in half thanks to the glorious winds of west texas so we are in sonora and uh, we're in the middle of nowhere but we have about 170 miles to go uh, we are actually going to drop this car off directly at European Auto Group. So that is the plan. This car is actually getting converted to a gated six manual. That's right. I was thinking about the damage to my trailer. And first of all, it's really upsetting just that there's literally human beings that are this stupid out there that find it necessary to, for no reason whatsoever, no provocation, just beat up a trailer. I mean, what kind of knuckle draggers are we talking about here? This is crazy. Every time I've done any sort of hauling with the cars and with the trailer, I learn lessons and I need to modify the trailer and add stuff and add stuff. So I'm gonna add an alarm system to my trailer. I kind of think that's the best solution because adding cameras would be kind of difficult. You'd have to have like a bunch of cameras that have to be everywhere. And honestly, it's not gonna stop someone versus if they have an alarm and it starts buzzing and beeping and whatever, if they hit the car or the trailer, then uh, I think that would stop people and certainly alert some others. I don't know. So I think that's the best solution for this particular problem. It's really frustrating. Like, I'm just disappointed. Let's hit the road and get this thing unloaded in San Antonio. Here she goes. My trailer makes a lot of noise. It's fine. Yeah, just enjoy all the creaks and cricks and pops and bangs and noises. I like your trailer. It's a, you have such a beautiful setup with your cars and your trailer. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. There we go. But here's the next one. Made it. This one's getting the EAG gated six manual conversion. All the way from Phoenix. All the way from Phoenix, Arizona. Pahonix. Whew, yes, we made it home. All right, so I've been on the road a lot. Too much, arguably. I don't think I want to do any transportation jobs for a little while, especially given that apparently uh, I need to now worry about my trailer being vandalized, parking at places. Uh, I mean, seriously, this is the world we live in where you can't just park something there without it just being beat to hell by complete knuckle-dragging idiots. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of pissed about it. Like, I'm trying not to be, like, super emotional about it because then, you know, it just doesn't come out good on video. But I'm, I'm pretty pissed. It just, like, makes no sense. Just why they felt the need to assault my trailer is just stupid. I guess I should show you the damage now that I, I am like in a better position. So let's go take a look at that. Well, the truck has a good solid 3,000 miles on it since its last bath. It's not not that dirty. I mean, well, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty filthy. The good news is that they didn't damage the truck. Uh, the bad news is, of course, they damaged the trailer. So there's one mark right here, but then here's the big damage. So this is all yeah, and it doesn't show up super good on camera because it's uh, kind of glossy, but like they whacked it, you know, pretty good. Some of these actually punctured all the way through the metal and like these ones went all the way through. I have no idea what they used to hit that thing. It's also very like, you know, like clearly that was something sharp, almost like they stabbed it with a knife or something. Uh, and like this has kind of like a triangular pattern to it. So I don't think they're trying to break in because there's no damage to like the mechanisms that hold the door on. It's just simply damage to the panel. So it's literally just some drunk asshole just beating on the, the trailer. Yeah. Yep. 
people suck. So I think I'm gonna have to get an alarm system for the trailer. I don't think it makes sense to have a bunch of cameras on the outside of the trailer. I'm also contemplating other things, uh, maybe getting a concealed carry permit and stuff like that, but whatever. I don't, you know, we're not gonna go into that. I'm just frustrated. That just sucks. I guess this is a good place to wrap up the video because I'm home. So I'm going to go enjoy some time with Megan because I haven't been home in over a week. So, oh, hummingbird, check it out, right there, right there. See him? Oh, he went away. Darn, oh, I, there he is, look at, oh, he flew away. Oh, that's too bad. Anyway, uh, well, that's a good sign. We'll leave you with that. Uh, thank you for watching. We have lots of car stuff coming your way, so you are gonna wanna stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel if you appreciate these videos. We will have lots of car stuff coming your way. It's gonna be sweet.